Welcome back to another NFL offseason video and in this video I'm going to be talking about a couple teams that might be trending in opposite directions at least with what they've done this offseason. That's the Dallas Cowboys and the LA Chargers. So starting things off with the Cowboys going into this offseason after they had yet another embarrassing playoff exit as home as the home team against the Green Bay Packers, the young Packers team and they just came out and blew them out of their own home stadium. Jerry Jones said that this offseason they would be going all in they would continue to push all the chips forward to make a super bowl with this team they kept mike mccarthy around and not only have they not gone all in as far as free agency acquisitions they have lost some pieces to their team like tony pollard he left to the titans they had a couple other guys left too but they had a couple guys internally that they had contracts coming up with guys like dak prescott micah parsons and cd lamb and they will not be getting any hometown discounts for these guys because they were not in front of the market and paying these guys early and now it might be getting too late to where to the point where where it pays them it's just going to put them in a ridiculously tough spot so let's start with Dak Prescott last night Trevor Lawrence of the Jags signed that massive contract extension which put him on top of the quarterback market with Joe Burrow at 55 million per year and with Dak Prescott's track record 55 million per year seems like a mark that he could shatter he's probably going to want around 60 million at this point and he's going to want to be the guy to reset the quarterback market so they're putting themselves in a tough position with that and then cd lamb he's due for a contract at the wide receiver position but then justin jefferson a fellow wide receiver just reset the market for that position at 35 million per year so maybe they don't have to make cd the new highest paid receiver because of how good jefferson is but they're going to have to pay him 30 plus and probably close to that 35 million amount at least and then micah park Parsons has made it clear that he wants to be the highest paid non-quarterback in the NFL and Justin Jefferson's contract also makes that complicated with 35 million per year so you have to figure Dak Prescott's going to want to make over the 55 million annually that Trevor Lawrence makes Micah Parsons wants to make over 35 million per year and CeeDee Lamb's definitely going to want to make around that if not more himself as well so the Cowboys have put themselves in a very tough position. For the next part of this video, I'm going to be talking about the LA Chargers. There's always one team that missed out on the playoffs and was towards the top of the draft order this past year that will be a breakout team and make some noise. And I think the Chargers could very much so be that team this year. They had a higher pick in the draft because Justin Herbert got injured and they were just kind of dysfunctional last year with Brandon Staley at the helm. For the last two years, they've been seen as a team with a ton of talent, but just haven't been able to put it together with winning. But if you look at what you need to win in the NFL, NFL, a head coach and franchise quarterback is arguably the two most important things, but also the toughest things to find. They have Justin Herbert, and now they're getting Jim Harbaugh, who didn't just win at college. He's a proven NFL coach, too, and I feel like people forget because of all the time and success he's had at Michigan in between then. But when he was with San Francisco, they were Super Bowl contenders basically year in and year out, and his winning percentage and record is very, very impressive there, too. So he gets to come in with Justin Herbert. We rework their team this offseason they got Joe Alt a new franchise left tackle and their franchise quarterback and now it looks like they could be a team that might fly under the radar not saying they're going to beat out the Chiefs in the AFC West but Vegas has their win total at eight and a half so there should be expectations for them to be around a playoff team probably knocking right on the door competing for a wild card spot if not competing for the division with the Chiefs and shocking some people but the Chargers are a team that could be flying under the radar after they weren't in the pick all of last year that could take the league by storm this year.